Hello to you all and welcome to another video. My name is Nigel, I'm also known as a Lake Erie vlogger. And today I'm going to be looking for a couple of ships out here on the Welling Canal. I'm down here in Port Coburn. Um, I was hoping to get on the water this weekend, but the winds are too strong and it's too rough for me to go out on my personal watercraft, also known as a Sea-Doo. Uh, so we'll save that for next weekend. So there's a couple of ships nearby. Um, a lot of them got tied up the last few days because we had some very, very strong winds. Oh, look at that, the sun just came out. We had some very strong winds here over the last few days. So the canal was like temporarily closed or there wasn't much coming in due to the strong winds. So it was dangerous. So anyway, a lot of stuff moving at the moment. I got Equinox uh, heading down sorry heading up the canal because I'm, I'm at the, the other end uh so that'll be coming up very shortly and we also have saint mary's cement which is behind me that'll be leaving shortly as well so we'll go and get them two today uh so i best make my way up to lock eight and uh, get ready for the ec uh, the equinox i'll get my equinox coming in and uh, i'm going to try and get the drone up the problem is it's been bloody windy uh, it was gusting over 50 kilometers an hour just just literally a few minutes ago but it's just gone calm again uh, so it's going to be hit and miss if i can get the drone shots and that if i do bonus if i don't oh well we'll still get a good video so anyway join me my name is nigel also known as a lake Erie vlogger and i'm out here to have a bit of fun and show you some ships and other things like that let's go this is the Algoma Equinox. She is a lead ship of the Equinox class freighters designed specifically for the unique conditions of the Great Lakes. Built by Nantong Mingdi Heavy Industries in China, this vessel represents the significant leap forward in shipping technology. In the heart of North America, the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence Seaway, which are vital conduits for maritime trade and among the vessels, she navigates these waters. With a length of 225.6 meters and a beam of 23.8 meters, the Algoma Equinox is a gearless bulker relying on shore facilities for loading and unloading cargo. This design choice reflects the commitment to efficiency and environmental responsibility. The ship boasts a gross tonnage of 23,895 and a deadweight tonnage of 39,400, allowing it to transport substantial quantities of iron ore and grain, the lifeblood of the regional economy. All right, ran into a little problem there with the drone. Uh, the winds were starting to gust 50 kilometers an hour, so the drone was all over the place. I actually had a hard time getting it back. Um, I was way over there with the drone, probably about 500 meters away. And it only took a litch if you, if you got a minute or so to get it out there, but bringing it back, I had to bring it back down the road and virtually along the, uh, literally about two meters above the ground to try and avoid uh, the stronger winds. Uh, anyway, I managed to get the drone back, thankfully, and I managed to get some uh, shots of the uh, ship going through uh, the canal right here. And I'm just gonna run right ahead right now and uh, get it exiting Port Coburn and uh, out onto Lake Erie. All right, this is Main Street lift bridge, uh, just uh, by lock eight. And this is a very tight squeeze. Not every day I got to say I'm right below the bridge of an Algoma ship. Look at that. The Algoma Equinox, literally three meters away from me. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant.
Now she just positions herself into the lock. We'll get to see the, uh, the propeller at the back here, the prop. Uh, probably just easing off now, because it just glides right into the uh, uh, lock eight here in Port Coburn. Look at that. Another fascinating feat of engineering. It totally is. After all these years, they're still doing it the old fashioned way. Uh, nice massive cinder block on a bridge, weight, uh, based on weight. I love it. Just ran down to uh, the exit here of Port Coburn, where the Equinox is now on its way out onto Lake Erie. Unfortunately, I can't get any further because uh, there's no roads that go out there really. So it's as far as we can go. So anyway, the ship's just going under the last bridge, and she's making her way out of the canal, and then she goes straight onto Lake Erie, which is just over there. So uh, that's where we're up to right now. question is can we get uh, some bonus points will you give us that horn sound who knows creating a hell of a wash behind it All right, there you have it, the Algoma Equinox on its way out to uh, Thunder Bay, um, up on Lake Superior there. Got a long distance to go, and uh, bon voyage. All right, so there you have it, that was the uh, Algoma Equinox on its way to Thunder Bay, uh, just exiting out here of the Welland Canal at Port Coburn, and as I say, it's on its way to Thunder Bay. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, you know what YouTubers say, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, all right, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be around for the next video. Take care.